My name is Anthony Weich. Um, I'm 18 years old and I'm from the Bronx, New York. Uh, I've been living in the city all my life and uh, I started dancing in the fourth grade at a ballroom program in my school um, down on 96th Street in West End. And when I started dancing, I didn't really think about how much it would impact my life until now because now it just took over and, and I'm pursuing this and I want this to be my career in the future. I started out learning ballroom dance um, and then I switched to international style ballroom dancing after getting a scholarship through the um, dancing classrooms. And I've been performing with them, I performed with them for five years. And at the same time, I was a part of a choral organization called the Young People's Chorus in New York City. And with them, I sang, I sang at the same time and I performed all over the world with them as well as pursuing the dance, the dancing. And when it came to, when it came time to apply for high school, uh, I wanted to audition for LaGuardia for performing arts because I knew that that was something that, that was a school that would be right for me and that's some, that was like something where I could pursue my singing and my dancing. So I auditioned and then I got into there and that's when everything changed for me because I no longer was doing ballroom, but I was continuing to sing and perform with them. So I had a sense of stage presence, but I, there were still many things that I, didn't, I needed to learn about dance. And there were still many things that I continue to want to learn. So there I learned ballet, modern, um, contemporary choreography, jazz, tap, and so many other art forms and, and different styles of dance. And it was, it was amazing to, to fuse that with, with what I had already. And when, by the time that Light Feet became a part of my life, it was very conflicting at first because I didn't know whether I wanted to Light Feet or I wanted to be a classical dancer, a classical trained dancer. So throughout my time there, I spent a lot of my time figuring out that. And I, I realized that I wanted to incorporate both and I wanted to create my own voice with that. And I started Light feed, Feeding my first year in high school and I was down with the team known as Lunatics and they were a small team at the time. And we, I, I was watching a whole bunch of videos um, of my favorite Light Feet dancers and I grew up looking at that style as like it being a, a street style and it being as a battle style and I was I was saying like this has so much potential and I feel like this can grow if it was if it was be like if I was to be able to put it on a stage and if I was to be able to bring it to light. But what I did was I continued to, to I continued to dance in school and it became hard at first to balance that and, and being able to light feet and battle and stuff like that. So I didn't have a lot of time to go out and do all of these these things with with my team and stuff like that. So I didn't get to go to sessions as much as I wanted to and I didn't get to do all that stuff because I had to be in school all the time and I had to be um, training. And when I was in school, we trained um, we trained for most of the time in in ballet and, and, and modern. And the modern two modern styles we trained in was um, Graham and Horton. And learning Graham is what set the foundation of 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 what my dancing stems from. The the movement quality of it and and the fact that everything comes from the center and leading out into spirals and stuff like that. Though that all that imagery is what is what made it so interesting to me. And I found that there's there's certain foundations within light feet. There's certain certain foundations within a rev up that you could explain with such energy and flow like you can with a contraction. Influenced me in the best way because it it gave me an audience that's not really recognizable from a street dancer. At first, going to LaGuardia, we had to learn um, so many things and, and from that being very structural to going to something very unstructural was very difficult at first. Going to a performing arts high school is hard enough as it is. But going to a performing arts high school and doing something outside of school is extremely hard. By the time I got to senior year, I realized 
that all of it paid off and that learning all these different styles helped me build my foundation as myself and I have a sense of, of, of movement and, and clarity and flow. Rocket, I would say, single-handedly changed my life. I was a different person before I was Rocket because I was still interested in lifey culture and I knew that I wanted to be a team and I knew that Rocket inspired me and what slick and dark and everybody here at, at, at NT does is that they, they pursue originality, they pursue creativity, and, and they pursue uniqueness. And that's something that I felt that that's what I wanted to. As a dancer and as an artist, Mindless Thoughts has helped me immensely. Um, I thank you guys so much for all your um, support. There's not many people that who are willing to give you that chance you know, to make it. And I feel that Mindless Thoughts, what they do is that they support, they, su they support my dream in, in becoming original and, 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 and continue to be original with my, with my choreography and with my dancing and with my performing. And I feel like what they do for Light Feet is, is probably the biggest thing that Light, Light Feet has ever had happen to them because before that we were in a deco era or a Swiss era and it was just filming battles. But now you have, you have students like me, you have people who, who want, their, who want their, their voice to be heard and they want their own personal shine. And, and what Mindless Thoughts provide is a professional setting for that. All of the events that we do, all of the promotions, all of the, the sponsorships and, and the, the solos and the videos that that Jordan Allen and Naji and, and Paul G and everybody who is a part of MT, what they provide for us is, is something that we can't take for granted. It's, it's something too precious for, for us to, to use. And once again, thank you, MT. Um, shout out to Rocket. The whole point of um, NYOS, or Not Your Ordinary Student, that, that series, was that it was to, to showcase what it's like and in in how, how it can be for, for any student who wants to pursue something. And it, it doesn't mean that you have to quit school just to do that. There are so many people in the LIFE community who are out of school, who have dropped out of school, or who are not at a stable place in their life. And just, I don't know, words of advice. And if in order to be successful, you have to be, you have to go to school. Uh, and I'm sorry to say, like, it doesn't have, it doesn't mean college, but at least a high school education. And to have that, it, go, it works wonders because you can have so many connections and people will treat you seriously in the world, as opposed to being another street dancer. Because there are so many people with talent that are not famous. And there's so many people who are famous who don't have talent. And the thing with that is, is that you have to be, you have to be committed, and you have to work very hard, and that's that's the true key to success. Is is if it's only for those who want to work there to get. It's only for those who want to work every day to get there, and that was what I wanted to show with the um, with the NYOS series. Although it was all dance and it was not verbal, you couldn't really read that message. But I guess what I wanted to show was just a day in the life of a student like me, and that there are others. You know, such as Nay Wave, who is continuing to follow my footsteps as a light feeder and as an actress and as a dancer. So it's it's a matter of just being yourself and to and to love what you do and to not take what you do for granted and, and to not take nothing from anybody really because I continue to light feed and, and some may some support it and some don't. But what I want to show is that it's, it's for any audience, it's not just for a specific audience, and that's what I wanted to gear it towards. And now seeing NYOS as this being the third and, and final rendition of it, I'm, I'm very glad to say that those were all, th those three points in my life were very, were very different from each other. Like the beginning of senior year was so different from NYOS 2, which was in the middle, and I was in rehearsing and I, and I brought out um, Slick, my creator, and they wave my creation. And, and now focusing, focusing on what I've learned from, from both of them and from, from dance in general outside of school, 
and um, now it's time to, to take my paintbrush and to, to paint my own canvas of, of dance. And that's something that I want to pursue. Um, shout outs to Rocket, shout outs to BC, shout outs to Top Flight, who's behind the camera. Um, and that's it. You're in for a treat. So, Woo. BC, Rocket. Yeah. You already know. Take the whiz! <laughs>